Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is Bingo Gels on Blitz, and today we'll be talking about the T-42, a tank that you can get right here. So, you can get it from playing in battles, but it's going to take probably forever. Um, it says you can get it with uh, from victories and from gold boxes, which is... I'd, you'd probably have a better chance of getting with gold, because you'd have to get a ton of victories to get this so what i would say closest to this would be is a stock t49 so why i say that is well i'll say with the refined gun the second gun what i mean by that is watch this hit points 1200 Big surprise, hit points 1,200. So you have as much hit points as a tier 8 light tank. But this is a medium tank, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, a medium tank. Damage 225. Now let's go to the refined gun on T49. 225. Big surprise. The gun on the T49, though, is... The refined gun is better than the T42. Um, but, again, then again, it, it's, it's a tier 7, so, I mean, yeah. It is an amazing gun, in my opinion. I love the gun. It's got decent penetration for a medium. Um, probably better than the T49. 152. 160, yeah. Better than a tier 8. So, I mean, more bang for your buck. I like the T49 because of... The Hesh Power. The HE is decent for a medium on this tank. It's not phenomenal. I'll show you in a minute um, how the HE is. But yeah, let's get into this tank a little bit. So we'll start from here. Hit points 1200, damage 225, rate of fire 9.1, penetration 160, armor 76.2, speed 37. So again, it's like driving T-49 stock, pretty much. Rotation, 56.46. Let's get into the damage per minute. Damage per minute, 2,044. I'm just curious to see how close the T-49 is. Oh, guess what? The Tier 7 is better. 2,044 for the Tier 7 and the T49, 2035. So you're getting better than a tier eight American tank. The T49, in my opinion, I just, I love it. I absolutely love the T49, but that's just because the gun and it's fun to play around with. But this tier seven just like demolishes it. If it's a T49 versus this tank, it's probably gonna lose um, unless it gets some Hess shells out. So it comes with a cool color, um, cool camo my mistake uh but i'm not wasting 5,000 gold if you're trying to get this tank uh, it does not come with a camo that's a duh uh 5,000 gold if you want to get the the uh the camo i'm not getting it i'll stick with my octopuses there you go i'll stick with my octopuses but yeah let's get into the tank a little bit and we'll show you how this thing works this is the frontal with a p using the super hellcat to scope this out let's switch over to apcr not too much of a difference a little less armor uh per usual it's got more armor than i'll give it that i gave it credit for earlier so this is with a chi it's decent i mean at least you can he from the front like most lights So this battle was not the greatest of all battles, but it shows a little bit of everything. A little bit of the accuracy, as you can see. It's got okay accuracy. The gun dispersion is okay. The gun depression is pretty good uh, for a medium tank. I'm just gonna wait for this Churchill gun carrier. Waiting, waiting, waiting. Then we get a shot into him. So as you can see, the accuracy is not bad. 
You get a lot of weird shots in this tank, but hey, I mean, the accuracy is not bad. With APCR, this tank is not bad either. Like, it's got pretty good ping. It's not bad whatsoever. So as you see right here, I'm going to take, and I'm going to switch to heat, not APCR. And I'm going to take out the Chosen Gun Carrier, work my way around, just bully, because I have the damage per minute. And I'm going to take advantage of that. T-34 managed to escape. Again, going to show off my accuracy here. And it's not even like the greatest accuracy, it's just decent. Boom. Right into the eraser game. So we're going to try to make our way around. Slowly. It's not as fast as... Thought it would be i mean it is a medium tank so i don't know what i was expecting we're gonna get another shot again which i find to be an annoying tank to play and to be against <clears throat> so right here i'm gonna be polite as usual <laughs> even in a game i somehow managed to be polite no cap Five. Somehow, I don't know how, but this came three shot. No idea how. I thought I was using the carcass of the tank right there, but I mean, I guess I wasn't. Uh, again, him being right over there, my team scoping him out. I don't know why. But yeah, I'm gonna make my way around and get this E25 from the side. Give a second. Make sure he's clear, not looking at me. I noticed that he's shooting the other way. So I'm make my way around, scope him out. Boom. At this point, I can outload him even if he does get the one shot off, but lucky for me, he does not turn around fast enough. I mean, he's 0% armor. I'm joking, not actually, but. Yep. Easy game not hard whatsoever now the next game that i'll be showing here in a second um again not the craziest damage not the craziest game but it's just showing you a little bit of how this works so i ended this game with a pretty good amount of damage for a tier 7 but our game our gamers our teammates screwed it up for us um as you'll see in the end I'm not going to show the whole video because it's very shameful, especially um, the SU-2244 at the end kind of embarrassed himself there, and I'm not going to do that to him. But yeah, we're going to sit here and wait, and hoping for the enemy line to cross, and they did not. So I'm like, I'm going to take advantage of this. I'm just going to move forward and use this rock here. I am a tier 7 and can outload most of them. So I'm going to get a shot to the BK, easy peasy, again with the accuracy, I don't know what happened there, no idea what happened there. I, I should have aimed it a little bit more, but I wanted to snapshot him because I knew if I didn't shoot him first, or shoot him first, he hit me again, I don't have the greatest armor, my turret is easily pinnable. I'm just going to bully this ranger, the ranger, great gun, no armor, good speed though. Again, another snapshot, boom. This tank is pretty good at snapshots. Every once in a while you will miss them, but it's pretty good on the move, and I like it. I like this tank. Uh, you will, I repeat, will have to play a ton of battles to get this tank. So, um, don't look at that shot, but yeah. You will have to play a lot of battles to get this tank. Me, I cheated. I went ahead and just got it. So we get an HE into the 25 As you can see, the HE is it's okay. I mean, it's the back of an E25. The E25 already has absolutely zero armor. Yet, we still had a little bit of trouble with the back of it. It's not super great, but hey, I mean, it's decent for a medium. I'm gonna fail on this HP. Yeah, um, so 
if you want to get this tank to start grinding now because you have no idea how long we didn't it even out scratch them. so I suggest start grinding now and if you have gold go ahead and start using it if you want to get this tank this like it is not right worth through. the 15k gold or so to go ahead and go from start to finish it's not worth it to go go I, I, I didn't think it was worth it like it is a great tank but it's not worth how much you're going to pay for it if you decide to get it early so just just go ahead and just farm it farm it that's what I'm suggesting to you again they're going to throw the game we're going to win we're going to lose by base cap and we're going to lose because the SU-2244 kind of screwed it up he said at the back of the map he did get a bit of damage but he you could tell at the end he was about the greatest of players so 3.2k damage to kills easy 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 to farm apparently not easy to win so yeah this is the t42 for you i'm bingle jazz on blitz and i'll see you again on the channel